you know, I, I played a significant role in the creation of uh, OpenAI. Um, essentially, at the time, I was concerned that Google uh, was not uh, paying enough attention to AI safety, and, um, and, so, and so I, I, I with a number of other people, um, created OpenAI. And although initially it was created as an open source nonprofit, and now it is closed source and for profit. I, I don't have any stake in OpenAI anymore, nor, nor am I on the board, nor do I control it in any way. Um, but the, the chat GPT, I think, has illustrated to uh, people just how, how advanced AI has become. Um, the, the, because the AI has been advanced for a while, it just didn't have a user interface that was um, accessible to most people. Um, so what really ChatGPT has done is just put an, an accessible user interface on AI technology that is um, that has been present for a few years, um, and there are much more advanced versions for that that are coming out. Um, so I think we, you know, I think we, we need to really be. I think we need to regulate AI safety, frank, frankly, um, because if you think of any. Um, Technology, which is potentially a risk to uh, civil to, to people, like if it's aircraft or uh, you know cars or uh, medicine, the regulatory bodies that um, oversee the public safety of, of cars and planes and medicine, and um, I think we, we should probably we should have a a similar sort of regulatory oversight for artificial intelligence because um, it is, I think, actually a bigger risk to society than uh, cars or planes or, or uh, medicine. Um, so, um, and this may slow, slow down AI a little bit, but I think that, that might also be a good thing. Um, the, the, the challenge here is that uh, government regulatory uh, authorities tend to be set up in reaction to something bad that happened. So, if you look at, say, aircraft or, or cars, um, you know, the cars were unregulated in the beginning, aircraft were unregulated, uh, but they had lots of, um, you know, airplane crashes, and in some cases, manufacturers that were cutting corners, um, and, and a lot of people were dying. So, they, the public was not happy about that, and so they established a regulatory authority to improve safety, and now commercial airliners are um, extremely safe. Um, in fact, they're safer than, than if, if you were to drive somewhere. Uh, it's, the safety per mile of a commercial airliner is better than a car. And, and cars are also extremely safe compared to where they used to be. Um, so, um, but if you say, if you look at, say, the introduction of seat belts, uh, the, the auto industry fought the introduction of seat belts uh, as a safety measure for, I think, 10 or 15 years. Um, before finally the Israeli put seat belts in cars and that greatly improved the safety of cars um, and that airbags were another big improvement in safety. So um, my concern is that with AI, if, if there's something bad, that, if something goes wrong, um, the reaction might be too slow from a regulatory standpoint. Um, so I, I, I'd say, like, it, 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 you know, if I'd say, like, what, what are the biggest risks to the future of civilization? Um, it, it, it is AI, but AI is a double, you know, it's, a, it's, it's both positive and negative. It has great, great promise, great capability, but it also with that comes great danger. I mean, you look at, say, nuclear, it, it, you know, just discovery of sort of nuclear physics, uh, you had nuclear power generation, but also nuclear bombs. Um, so anyway, I think we should be quite concerned about it, and we should uh, have some regulation of what is it, if, if fundamentally um, a risk to the public. Uh, you know.